this individual reacted to me talking about how I read the Quran and embraced Islam. Let's uh, see some clips. Almost every testimony that I've seen from a Muslim convert, almost every single one of them have to do with you reading the Quran. Very few testimonies that I've ever seen from Christian converts have to do with the Bible. Now this is actually an argument for the Quran and Islam being true. And it could be seen as an argument against the Bible. But uh, he actually doesn't mean it in that way. His point is people read the Quran and they become Muslim, but people who are embracing Christianity, they have some sort of emotional experience that causes them to become Christian. Now, of course, Muslim converts also have a very emotional experience when embracing Islam. I think every single convert story, if you look into it, it's going to begin with them making dua, with them praying to God, to Allah, to their creator for guidance. This is a very emotional thing. This is a very personal thing. And this also shows a, a relationship where, yes, indeed, Allah cares about us to the point where we ask him for guidance and then he guides us. It's an extremely, I mean, it's, it's beyond words. But the thing is, until you actually read the Quran, until you actually read the message that Allah sent to us, or he is speaking directly to us through this book, until then, it's kind of difficult to really know what's right and wrong. I mean, you're left with a certain level of conjecture. But when you read this book and you see that this is a miracle, this has to be from God, then I would say that's a clear sign that this is from him. People in general can agree and believe that God, that Allah exists, that we were created by the creator. However, when it comes to the details about why he created us, how we should live our lives, what's the purpose of our lives, what happens when we die, how to be successful in this life and the hereafter. This is something you need more specific guidance regarding. It's answering these sorts of questions that really necessitate a prophet that is teaching the people these things, showing them the right way, as well as a book that details everything in it specifically. If everyone is just sort of left to their emotions and their conjectures, then you're going to find all sorts of conflicting ideas about God, about life, about right and about wrong. So I think what happens with a lot of people, myself included, we reach a point where we we accept, yes, God exists. Allah exists. He created us. We, I believe in him. I feel like I have like a relationship with him. However, I need more concrete details. Like what does he want from me? And then we search. And I think many people in the West, we just sort of assume it's the Bible and Christianity. So we go to the Bible. We start studying Christianity. We look at the New Testament. We look at the Old Testament. Maybe we even consider Judaism because of the Old Testament. However, as you admitted, people don't really read the Bible and say, oh, this is like a miraculous scripture from Allah. But rather many of us, we say, man, I believe that there is some truth in this book. However, when I look at how it was compiled, like who really came up with a lot of these practices and who decided what was in it or who took what out of it, it's difficult to believe that this is the preserved scripture of our creator. It seems like a lot of scriptures that men wrote down and passed down over time, the authors are anonymous, the chains of narration are filled with anonymity, but then we reach a point where we read the Quran and it's just, it's amazing. It's, it's beyond words, the emotional experience. And then when you learn about the preservation, that just adds to it. It's a straw man argument to say that Muslims learn that this book was preserved. And then we decided, okay, well, since it's been preserved, we're going to believe in it. Rather, people read it and they experience it for themselves. And they say, this is from God. And then they start to learn about its preservation and other things like that.